Welcome back, Elden Ring fans, to another video. And yes, as you can see, it's our boy, Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president, uh, the 16th Elden Lord of Elden Ring. Um, he, so, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln's actually our 16th president of the United States over here in the USA. Um, he is a historical figure as our president, of course, um, and he has a lot of history behind him, but that's not why I chose him. Um, I didn't choose him for any, like, controversial reasons or just a historical reason. I chose him as a meme. I thought it was funny that uh, Bloodborne, when I first picked up Bloodborne, was a great game. But it gave me the aesthetic of Abraham Lincoln just because there was a lot of top hats. And I decided to create him in that game, and now I've made him in this one. In this, we are using um, that kind of liberty, uh, that, that those golden auras to pull off the, the might and strength of an American president. Um, I did originally have a Stormhawk in this, but I kind of deleted the video by accident while I was uploading it. So I had to voice over this one and do a whole bunch of other stuff, but who cares? So we're using axes and you're probably like, well, Fog, why are you using axes? What, what's going on? And well, <laughs> these axes are sacred because Abraham Lincoln, if you guys didn't know, and you guys haven't watched the document documentary or movie, um, Abraham Lincoln, The Vampire Hunter. Totally a real movie. Uh, well, it is a real movie, but to totally a historical documentary. Definitely not fake. Definitely 100% real. Um, of course, I'm bullshitting. I'm being, I'm being totally just joking. Um, it's, a, it's a movie about Abraham Lincoln being a vampire hunter, of course, as the name says. But it's ridiculous. It's funny. It's actually really, got some really cool action, action sequences. But, sorry, I keep stuttering. But, um... It has some cool action sequences that I wanted to implement in this game because it felt like the, the fluid of battle um, or the motions of battle in this game and how fluid it can be can be implemented from that movie to this game. So I put sword sweep or uh, stomp sweep on this weapon. I put uh, spinning slash. I put uh, w uh, wild strikes. We put sword dance on certain axes, and that's what he uses. He uses a, a woodcutter's axe in the movie, and I kind of, you know, I went out of my way to use other weapons, of course, because one weapon, we can't just do one weapon. One weapon feels boring. Um, it's not for everybody's play style, but man, spinning slash on the hand axe looks kind of fucking cool. I don't even, don't even say it doesn't. It, spinning slash looks cool on twin blades. It looks cool on like really long ornaments, like like poles and stuff like that. Man, on the axe and twin blades, it looks so cool. And this, this build looks so good. But it's a sacred build. And man, sacred build is cool. I should have played my first playthrough with a sacred build. I'm typically a strength based, -based character. And I didn't go the route of, uh, of sacred this time. My first playthrough. Actually, was more of a strength-based character. I know, whoopie doo. Uh, I went. I was using a uh, frostbite, but that was my own personal playthrough. That was just me, my first time. Um, I like more of the, like I said, strength, faith, kind of lightning, strength builds and stuff like that. But this character, man, sacred is just so good. Uh, I was, I was really impressed by the damage I was doing to some things that you wouldn't even think are like weak to sacred um but who knew you can do a lot of damage and with this build of course i made him look like abraham lincoln but it's the fun of the battle like i said it was just a meme i was just trying to meme and have fun and make him look as goofy as possible uh i originally made him in bloodborne of course like i had said uh bloodborne was the first time i created him i tried to bring him over and you can do that with dark souls 3 but bloodborne is a little bit different the way they create their characters and the creation the character creation is actually implemented in the game so there was like a whole bunch of nerd shit i had to do where i was just trying to figure out which number is linked with what and how to do it and i don't have a computer i'm literally switching between my ps4 and my series x and i'm just going through and back and forth and well i it didn't really turn out to me so i had to start from scratch make this character but it was fun it was super fun look at this damage like there's some pretty crazy damage on there especially for sacred it's just sacred it's a hand axe and some of them are battle axes of course i have the wild strikes on there man Wild Strikes, if you, if you actually time Wild Strikes, if you didn't know this, if you time it properly, you can get a secret second hit before you do that flip. Right before you do it. And, man, just all these axes are really cool. This character's a lot of fun. Um, and hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I'm not 
pumping out as many videos as normal because I don't want to over stimulate you guys and just keep coming up with like 50 to 60 new characters and you guys get bored of it. So I do have a lot of characters, but this is just one short one I wanted to throw out before I throw out the actual, uh, the big one that I'm going to throw out, which is really, really cool. Um, it's a lot different than most people have made this character. A lot of people have made these characters, um, but this one's my own take on it, and I think it looks absolutely fucking stunning and really cool. So, hopefully you guys had fun with this video. Of course, we're going to finish this boss, because Abraham Lincoln did the Elden Lord of Liberty and Justice for All. He's amazing. So, of course, he finishes this dude like a champ. No, no, no sort of, like disembowelment or anything really happens to him. Of course, he may get hit every now and then, but that's my own fault. Um, but I had fun with this game, and that's what's about this game, is the biggest thing you have to do. You have to take away that you have to have fun in your own place, on your own creative. Because a lot of people have no fun with these games because they're using another person's build. It's all about your own experience. Go out there and find what you like. Because if you don't, you're going to get beaten PvP pretty easy, because everybody does the same stuff. So, if you guys like this, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and have a great day, guys. See you later.